This lesson is to um, how to cycle an animation in Blender. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this is the cycled uh, animation. I'm running my timeline from 1 to 240. And you can see the function curve right here. We're kind of repeating and this is what we're going to do. All right, so let's start from the beginning here. I'm going to open uh, the bouncing ball by itself. And this looks like it's actually bouncing if I play this. All right, and this is just a cycle using a, a playback loop. All right, because I'm only viewing one to 24 frames. So as soon as it's done playing 24 frames, it goes back to one. So if I extend this to let's say 240 for 10 seconds worth of animation, and as you can see right there, it stops after the first 24 frames. Makes sense, right? Because that's all we animated from the previous version. Okay, so how do we cycle it? It's actually pretty easy to cycle. Uh, let me stop my playback, okay? But the thing to consider is that um, you need to kind of match uh, the length of each action. So let's uh, kind of cycle this one action at a time, right? So let's deal first with the ball just going up and down, okay? So that would be just the, uh, uh, the z-axis on the translate, okay? So if I change, um, so if I select all those, I have four keys, right? Up, down, down, up. Okay. So if I scrub this, so this would be the motion. So we want to cycle the motion right there. All right. Once all those keys are selected, all you have to do is do Shift E to get um, animation interpolation. So let me. Uh, uh, oh, I don't have my screencast yet, but shift and then E as in Edward, okay? Uh, I don't know where it's here now. It, there used to be um, the interpolation, but this is 292, so I could be just not looking at it uh, where it's supposed to be, but shift E, okay? You get your keyframe extrapolation, okay? And what we want to do is make cyclic F modifier again it's shift and then E as in Edward and then make cyclic F modifier so you can see it repeated that all right so let's watch it this one does have the squash there it is okay but it's supposed to just do the bounce all right so it's cycling the bounce with no problem all right and that's 24 uh, frames worth of animation from 1 to 24 right there. All right, so now for the squashing, we need to cycle that. All right, so it's those keys right there. It starts squashing at 10, squashes at 12, unsquash at 14. All right, so same thing, Shift E, cyclic. All right, but as you can see here, it's repeating the pattern but it's only worth four frames. So the possible issue here is this. It's cycling four frames worth of squashing in and squashing out. So this won't work. I have to click undo, Command Z, okay? So what we want to do is match the length of the action of the bounce, which is up and down, which is from one to 24, okay? So we need to extend our squash so to do that it's quite easy right so if I park this on frame 10 and select my key right here all right this one has no squash it's just our keyframe for um, the first squashing right so if I command C this to copy or control C if you're in Windows go to your time uh, timeline go to one and then command V so basically you just tell it, hey, do a no squash, but put it on one also. So from one to 10, there's no hap uh, there's nothing happening. There's no animation because your ball, it's not squashing yet, all right? And we do the same for 14, right? So for frame 14, it squashes out. Now it's a regular ball. We want to copy that Command C or Control C, then park this all the way to 24, Command V to paste it. So between 14 and 24, there is no squashing, but we have extended our scale or squashing to match, it's 24 frames now, to match 
the bounds. So I'm just going to do Shift E, make cyclic. As you can see here, if I zoom out, it is now match. It's no longer just waving every four frames uh, with a function curve. Okay, so let's watch this now. And again, this is 1 to 24. This is not a uh, play loop like before. So it's now cycling it. Okay, and again, all we did was Shift E, make a cycle F modifier. But the takeaway is to match all the actions to, do, uh, to happen in the same length. Otherwise, they will cycle within their own timeline. Uh, time which is 24 frames for the bounce and 4 frames for the squash and we simply match it.